Hi, this is Amy Lewis, Cisco Marketing, and we're here for another episode of Engineers Unplugged. Today, we've got Boz and Caroline, and we're going to be talking about SDDC and cloud. Fact, fiction, unicorn, who knows? We're going to find out today. So, Caroline, take it away. So, my dear Boz, what can you tell me about SDDC? What can I tell you about SDDC? I think we're seeing a new trend. Um, obviously, we're at VMware PEX. Um, virtualization is a focus, but we saw that just virtualizing infrastructure isn't enough. You could virtualize the server, you can virtualize storage up to a certain point. A lot of vendors jumped into that market. Um, Software-defined networking is one of the components came in there. Um, you saw VMware purchasing Nicira, Cisco purchased... Cloudia? Yep, Cloudia. Um, but I think the interesting part about the SADC is getting the elements all to, to interact, to work as one. Um, you're going to draw something, aren't you? No, so what I think, I think would be a really interesting point of discussion is what are the components of SDDC that we should be focusing on and which ones are the more important ones? So I think we all know that there's SDN Right, and then there's SDS, which is um, software defined storage, yep. and then we've got when because when we start talking about this, then we start talking about OpenFlow as well, and whether or not that is the same and how it fits into cloud. So, which of these? Do you, what other what other elements are there for SDDC that you think might be important to discuss? So we've got networking. Oops. We've got storage. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've got it's not an official term, but compute, yeah. which is the base that VMware is laying down, but also um, Xen, mm. KVM, you've got OpenStack. OpenStack. But OpenStack is, I think, more than just software-defined compute, because it also has elements okay. in there of storage, networking. You need the entire stack to, to fall in there. Um, I think OpenStack is actually a good example of the software-defined data center because you have the different elements of storage. You've got Cinder for block object storage, mm -hmm. um, plus the various other components in there. Um, and that's, I think, one of the, the, the most interesting parts is where do you see SDDC? Where do you see cloud? Is SDDC sort of a provider to hook into cloud? Or does cloud consume SDDC resources? Mm. So. I think, I think it's also subject to interpretation because we know that cloud is such a loose term. Some people feel that infrastructure as a service is considered private cloud, mm -hmm. right? So I think it depends on the services and everything that you're trying to provide. Personally, I think you're right that, you know, cloud probably consumes what it would be considered SDDC since everything is, you know, separation of control plane and, and all that sort of perspective. If we want to should we talk about OpenStack and trying to use that in a, as an example? Show what people, so we can explain to people what what SDC what SDDC is. Um, I think that might be a start. I think we could go into the various components and um, try to see, okay, where does cloud computing hook into the various elements? What does EMC do now? With um, currently, we we started working on it. Effectively, there's actually a new component that came out. We have, um, obviously, as a storage company, or not just a storage company, but as storage is one of the focus points, we have um, Cinder integration. So we actually have an iSCSI stack for Cinder as part of the block storage um, interface okay. or API. Um, but there's more than just Cinder. There is actually a blog post out there um, I don't know the URL off of the top of my head, but that gave a very simple, very graphical overview. I don't know if we can add in a link to that later on in the video, but um, basically it showed um, block storage, it showed object stores for templates. Um, it does file storage, but it also shows you the networking part, the compute part, um, the storage part of it, mm -hmm. which is obviously some of the components that I just mentioned. How would fast, is FastVP something that would be 
I don't know, I think fast VP or in general um, tiered storage and having the ability to, to switch between tiers is something that can be used to optimize your environment, but I wouldn't define that as software-defined storage per se. I think this is more of an extraction, abstraction layer. So um, software-defined storage to me would be one interface um, that I can utilize to work with different kinds of storage objects, be it multiple vendors, be it multiple arrays. So I can scale between different providers um, and offer interfaces that I can utilize. And I think that is the main part about these components. Software-defined data center to me is more about utilizing interfaces mm -hmm. and providing those interfaces to, for example, cloud-based objects. So um, it, no matter if I use OpenStack, if I use a, a stack defined by a vendor, like for example VMware or one of the other companies, um, I have one API that I can work with and I can switch out the components, which I would think would be a, a benefit for that. So in that case then, how would we manage both? Is that, or is that the unicorn? What do you mean with both? <laughs> So if we're saying that we have SDDC, right, and then cloud is going to become a consumer of it, how do we end up managing all the different, all the APIs and all the components that actually tie into the APIs? What is the, is that going to be the unicorn that can actually look across everything and manage it? Oh, yes. yes there we go. We have the unicorn. Draw the unicorn. Draw the unicorn. No, no, no. Oh, no, yes, no, you are. <laughs> Clearly, the, uh, the inmates have taken over the asylum. Um, they just took unicorn time out of my hands. I can't believe this. <laughs> what do you think? Would you like to commentate? I'm going to commentate. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what is the CMD? CMP? Cloud Management Platform. I see. That's a Cloud Management Platform unicorn. Um, they're very rare, like unicorns are. It's even more rare than the average unicorn is the cloud management platform unicorn. <laughs> well, you know what? This is a really interesting discussion. I like how you're uh, breaking it down, talking about the different elements. I'm going to ask one quick question, which is how soon do you see this happening? I mean, we're talking about this in the theoretical. How soon do you see this going into live environment? Where are we? Uh, we're at the start. Companies are, companies are being purchased, and everybody's at the start. They all see the potential behind it. And I think the first company to actually lock this down. And locking it down is going to be hard because there are several open standards. Uh, but the first company to actually successfully offer this will be probably one of the major players. What do you think, Carolyn? I think it's uh, it's one thing to have the, to have it so technology focused. Uh, it's making it make sense to the business and how we can actually help companies go to market quicker and deliver based on their business goals that will end up deciding the adoption speed and who that leader is going to be with the adoption. So it's actually going to solve a problem? It should. We, we should try to not focus on the technology. The technology is just the, the enabler. Um, to actually work on solutions and solving companies' problems. That's what matters most. Agreed? Agreed. Okay, I'm just going to let them host Engineers Unplugged from now on. So I'm going to go take a break and have a snack because I'm not needed here. They're doing a, a rocking job. So great episode. Um, and uh, check back next week for more Engineers Unplugged. Thanks so much, guys. Mm -hmm.